Hi beautiful friends, do you hear? It's Saturday, uh, it's supposed to be off for me actually in the office, but I had to come because this is the year end, so we have some things to do, I mean, extra job to do, closing end of the year. So, uh, someone requests me to um, read some real news from a newspaper. Mm, her name is Lipstick something, I forgot, sorry if I got it wrong. Thank you so much for watching guys and thank you, thank you so much for subscription for um, I think 66 subs now. Um, I'm so happy. Uh, thank you so much. I love your comments and I always read it and I always like your comments. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. This is just having fun. Me, do you having fun? So uh, I'm not here to earn money on anything, just to have fun. That's all. So let's read some news. Uh, I don't want to start with a very sad news, but this one really catches my eyes. This news, you know, um, it, it's in on the. Times of India today. It's um, it's Saturday. If you can see it, I don't know. Saturday, December thirtieth, two thousand seventeen. I don't know whether you can see it. So the title is um, "Night Out Turns Into Nightmare." This is really a sad news, but maybe this is like um, like a brainstorming also for us. We should be aware of our surroundings. Okay, so let's read it. Oh my god. Alright, so... Oof, it's really sad news. <laughs> okay. A blaze that swept through two illegal rooftop resto bars in one of Mumbai's night life hubs left 14 people dead and over 50 injured by the early hours of friday raising questions about the brazen flooding of it's really sad news guys oh maybe i can whisper i should whisper to you i should whisper okay i'll do that years old life snuffed out an hour after she celebrated her birthday a night of celebration at one above turned tragic for four sets of friends and families they were at the rooftop resto bar to mark a birthday to toast an anarai aunt on her visit home for a big family get together and for a sister's night out they numbered about 50 in all almost half of whom were at the birthday party of the 14 who died in the fire 10 belonged to these four groups Khushbu <sighs> Bansali is the, the birthday girl died less than an hour of turning 29 three years ago she and one of her closest friends Kinjal Mehta uh, had their weddings the same day oh my goodness what happened actually um, one ab above had promised to keep the city's upwardly mobile swaying to the beats of DJ iron on Friday while its bartenders would keep them fueled all night long he had a call out to all your party people on Saturday asking them to get ready for a night of debauchery as of as for New Year's Eve, it, it was charging early bit couples, okay? All of that lay in ashes by the early hours of Friday morning amid charges that the Swiss resto bar was illegally serving food, alcohol, and hookah on the terrace. See, in Mumbai, uh, I don't know how, how many of them, uh, the, these rooftop bars and restaurant, it's mostly about, you know, nightlife in Mumbai. So in the rooftop where the people can have parties and can throw any kind of parties you know hookah beers alcohol and anything 
right? And within minutes, uh, the fire enveloped 1A buff, a Swiss vegetarian on the launch adjoining Marcha's Bistro and the bustling trapping trapping guests in enclosed spaces with narrow exit exits. See, I have never been in that place, but it's, it's quite narrow. You know where I, I could see it above? I mean, uh, a downstairs, not downstairs, outside, I mean, on the road. I could see it's a not really big restaurant. I'm not really whispering, so I don't know, guys. I should whisper now. All casualties were caused by suffocation. Most of them women attending birthday parties or family gatherings. Police officials said the police started around 12.30 a.m. in this morning and you know, today. Today, 1 o'clock in the morning. Above, uh, through the reasons were not clear. The reason is not clear and swiftly spread to the canopy interiors of Mojo's, both located on the terrace of a three-story treehouse building. The rooftop section of the two eateries, separated by a partition, was accessible only through a narrow staircase. Narrow staircase, okay? So, it says then, uh, 11 women and 3 men, many of them in their 20s, suffocate to death in the washroom of one above. I mean that. And, oh my god. I think around how many people dead? 32 death in major city fires. Oh my god. It's it's really a sad news. See, I'm not I'm not against parties. I'm not against you know anything like that. You can do whatever you want, as long as you don't disturb others. It's your life. What I'm telling you is that uh, for me personally, having parties at home with my own people, with my own beloved ones, my families, my really really close friends. Uh, it's it's my style. I mean, I I. I don't, I don't go out outside to celebrate, you know, anything. Even sometimes, even I don't celebrate birthdays. I mean, every day is special for you. I'm not telling you that. See, I don't want to get hate for this. I'm not against birthday parties or any kind of parties. It's up to you. But just be careful, guys. Of this kind of thing happens, really bad thing happens. And I'm so sad about these girls and her families and any, all these people. I know you can see the place, it's, oh, it's a nightmare. So, just be careful guys, okay? Yes, be careful. So, thank you so much for watching. I don't know what else to say. <clears throat> Just be careful, and it's holiday season, be safe, uh, have party, but don't get wild too much. <laughs> Alright, see you again next time, happy holidays, and happy new year. Bye!